How's it going gamers? Today we're going to be reviewing this gaming PC right here that we built for $355 on Facebook Marketplace and eBay. This video is going to be broken down into three basic parts. First we're going to be looking at the parts and how much they cost. Secondly, we're briefly going to look into how the build went and if it was easy or hard in this case. Then lastly, we do the benchmarks. We do games like Fortnite, GTA, and Apex primarily. One quick disclaimer, I will have affiliate links down below for parts if you guys would like to help support my channel, but sometimes you may find a better deal on Facebook Marketplace like I did for some of these parts, which is why I was able to build it for so cheap. So if you guys just can't find something on eBay or Facebook Marketplace, then maybe go back to Amazon. But my links are mostly there just so you guys can get an idea of exactly what you guys need to get to make this PC. So this is about a mid-tier PC. It has a 760 and an i5 in there, and it is older hardware, but it still performs pretty well. All right, so to be exact, our CPU is an i5-4570, and we actually got that with an Asus motherboard, a Z87K. So for those combined, we only paid $97. So for the graphics card, like I was saying, we have the GTX 760, and it is by EVGA or EVGA for those intellectuals out there. And that graphics card was only $97. So for the RAM, we have two four gig sticks of Corsair Vengeance, and we only paid $30 for that. The case, we chose the MSI Mag, and it is a really nice case that you could buy for around $50 if you can find it. I believe on Amazon they may be sold out, but you can find them on eBay now. I have a full review on this case actually that should be coming out fairly soon, or it may already be out. If it is, I'll have it in the description down below. For the power supply, we have an Insignia 450 watt. I think that's gonna be plenty for the system. If you guys think that you'll be upgrading to one of the newer cards out right now, you may wanna budget for a bigger power supply. Just look at the power requirements for the graphics card that you kinda like want to get someday in the future and try and get something around there. So for storage, we went with a 240 gig SSD. It's a two and a half inch drive and it is by Kingston. Windows actually came with this motherboard since I bought it used. If you guys contact your seller, you can ask if they had Windows 10 on there previously because then you don't have to buy the license again. All you have to do is download Windows from the Microsoft website and then plug it in and it already activates. So for the CPU cooler, we just have the RGB thermal take cooler. It's only $20, it's really cheap and it's pretty nice. The building went really smooth in this case and I think it's mostly because of how much room they give us. On the top of the case, there's actually a lot of holes that we could route wires through. So we don't have to worry about routing cables like across the motherboard and having a very ugly mess. This case was really easy to build in and did not take much time at all. One cool thing is if you guys do this build, all the parts in the description down below for sure work together because it has been done. So you guys don't have to second guess yourself that you're buying the wrong part. It's all in the list down below. All right, so the best part, benchmarks. So first we benchmarked Fortnite. On high, we were able to get 50 FPS and at medium settings, we got 130 FPS. Now I'm pretty sure that with the right settings we can boost high to 60 FPS so we could get that target frame to match your like 60 Hertz monitor. It can be done, but with like just the basic high settings, that's what you get. With Apex, we got 70 FPS and I kind of just mixed settings. It was a bunch of highs and mediums just to get something that was really playable. For GTA 5, we got 110 FPS on high and the medium gave us 150 FPS. I think that's really impressive for a $355 PC because you're able to run games like GTA on high settings and you'll still be in the three digit mark for your FPS. So once again, I will be making a build tutorial fairly soon. I know I have to skip that on my videos for now. And it's just because I've built these PCs a while back so I haven't had the opportunity to like do a full in-depth tutorial yet. It will be coming soon, so it may give you a reason to subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys on my next build. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one.